Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here, not on the Beta 390. We're doing a night ride. As you can see, we've got the, I've got the headlight on, headlight on the bike, and then I'm also wearing a, a light on top of my helmet. So we had to wait here. We had to pull over <laughs> and let it get a little darker because we were, um, it wasn't quite as dark as we wanted. The whole point of tonight was to come up here and ride at night. So hit third gear here. And obviously I'm gonna be more cautious because I don't know this trail. Um, I've only ridden the trail once and it was three years ago. So Sage Hen, the last thing I wanna do is push it too fast and get hurt. There they are. How's it going guys? Okay, I've just got one more guy with me. Evening, guys. The forks on this beta are just phenomenal. While I drone on and on about the forks, I want to just point out one thing. Watch the really bright headlight, the one that stays kind of in one place. That is the actual battery-powered headlight that is attached to my helmet. And the one that's going to be wandering all over, it's more of, a, more of an orangish uh, yellow. That's the headlight on the front of the bike. Most of the light is coming from the helmet light, uh, but it's just funny how they dance around. And my head is more stable than the handlebars. Interesting. I, this bike... I haven't had a front fork that gives me more confidence than, than the ones on this bike right now. And it's especially noticeable right now because I'm on a trail in complete blackness and I don't know the trail. Now granted, it's a pretty smooth trail, but there are a number of just kind of roots and rocks that I'm hitting and these forks are absorbing it like nothing I've ever had. Seriously. Now I am running tubeless on this bike, so that helps as well, because I've only got, what, I think seven or eight pounds of pressure in this front tire right now, so that also makes everything, you know, a little bit more soft, plush, and forgiving. And granted, this is a, this is a very gentle trail. Um, and we did that on purpose because it's a night ride, and uh, that brings on a whole new element. Um, but yeah, I just keep hitting stuff. I keep seeing stuff that my front tire is hitting, and I'm like, no way, no way it, it, is, it, it is absorbing it that well. I just love it. This is the, this is the Beta 390RR. I probably should have said that. It's the race edition. So these are the Saks uh, 48 millimeter closed cartridge forks, and they are, they're freaking amazing. Something else that's interesting, because I don't do a lot of night riding. So the light on the Beta isn't great. Um, it would get you back, but you'd have to be going slower than I am right now. Um, but it's interesting because my helmet, I've got the, I've got a light up on my helmet and it is pointing where I, where I'm going. I mean, the, the light on the bike is pointing where I'm going. The light on my helmet points where I want to go. And I'm telling you right now, they're not always the same place. It's almost distracting because you've got this. I know this is a mega side hill right here. If I went off to the left, I'd be off like a huge cliff. Anyway, the uh, the light on the on the that's attached to the bike points right where the bike is pointed. But that a lot of times my head is not pointed that way because I'm looking where I want to go. So I'll be looking further around the turn, like right there. So it's in some ways it's awesome um, to have the two lights. Um, and another, see that rock right there, that should have, that should have just bounced me completely off. But the fork did it. Anyway, I've got one light that's pointing where I'm going and one light that's pointing where my head is looking. And it's not the same direction always. It's kind of uh, distracting. 
cool though really cool and you get you start to get like tunnel vision you know because you're only focusing on this very very narrow patch in front of you that you can see so cool the other thing I love about this beta is the 390 motor. This thing is the most um, smooth um, racing style dirt bike that I have ever been on. It, it makes you forget that it's a big bore because it doesn't just like tear your head off and, and want to ride you. It's just so smooth and it, it feels light. To say this thing is good is an understatement. Like, this bike is great. Now, I don't love, I'm getting, I've got a, I've got a mushy rear brake right now and that's because I bent the brake rotor slightly. I don't have a guard on this thing. And I, like, this is just more evidence to me that I cannot ride a dirt bike without putting uh, at least rear disc guards on the bikes because I am just, and I, I'm trying to be careful on this thing, but I, I did whack it and I noticed today that it was bent just slightly. It's just warped ever so slightly. I noticed when it was on the stand because the, the wheel was catching, you know, part way around. And so what happens is because it's got that little bit of a bump, it brushes the, the brake pads out. It forces the brake pads out and, and that makes the brakes mushy. So anyway, the brakes on this are Nissan brakes. They're good, they're not phenomenal, but they are very good. Um, I've had uh, Nissan brakes like this on the, in the past on several bikes. Everything from, you know, the other Beta that I had to uh, other Yamahas that I've done. And what other bikes? I think it's just the Betas and the Yamahas. Oh, and the Honda. And the Nissan brakes are, are good. They're maybe just a step under, not maybe, I, I think they are a step under like the Brembo brakes and the Maguro brakes. Although I don't love the, sometimes I don't love the feel of the Maguro brakes either. And maybe that's because I'm using the Brembo brakes all the time, but I just feel like these brakes, the Nissan brakes tend to be a little bit more mushy with a little less uh, feel, like a little less stopping power, but they're, they're good. They're just not like fantastic. Right now, I would say the only weakness on this bike, I'm trying to think, and it's not even a weakness, but the, the weakest, the, the weakest part, and I'm really drawing at straws right here, it's just uh, maybe maybe the brake, front brake. But man, this thing is so freaking good. Hydraulic clutch, gotta love that. And I mean, I don't love the I don't love how I've got the kill switch on my right thumb. It, it's you kill the bike on the same thumb that you start it. I don't like that. Every other bike is different. You know, so that's a little bit annoying, but I mean, main reason why that's a problem is because I have three bikes right now in my garage. I'm always riding different bikes. If this was your only bike uh, that you had, you'd, you'd get used to it and it would be a, a non-issue.